Hi there, I'm Greg. Let's take a look at another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. In this video, we're going to focus on best practices for connecting joists and headers to beams. We'll be using the H1 detail, which shows us how to install headers and TGI joists hung from a flush beam in a floor system. In this application, we're using face mount hangers. Face mount hangers are affordable, strong, and available in high gauges if needed. But top mount hangers may be used as well. Let's get started. First, we're going to cut our beam material to length. In this instance, we're going to be using 1 and 3 quarter inch by 11 and 7 8 inch timber strand LSL. But you can use other truss joist beam materials such as Paralam or Microlam. One thing that's really important when you're installing hangers is to dimension out the hanger locations first. That's especially true when the hangers require a large number of nails like we have here. One easy way to do this is to draw two lines at each hanger location. That way you can be sure that the hanger openings are the right width for the TGI joist or header. In this case, they are one and three quarter inch which is the width of the single ply header that we're installing. So square up and make two marks. Then you'll know where to place both sides of the hanger. Doing this can really go a long way toward eliminating floor squeaks. On this beam, we're going to install a single ply face mount hanger and a two ply face mount hanger on a pre-marked timber strand LSL beam. You want to remember to always know the exact width of your multi-ply header. So in this case, for the two ply, we're going to measure three and a half inches between the lines. Now we're going to fasten the face mount hanger. The nail holes are there for a reason, so make sure that all the holes are filled. This will help ensure the hanger can carry the load that it's designed for. You'll find that it's so much easier to install the hardware before you place the beam in the floor system. It really helps you gain efficiency. If you prefer, you can also install the hangers after the beam is in place. Once you've installed the hardware, stage the beams by the foundation. In this case, we're installing two one and three quarter inch timber strand LSL beams with pre-attached hangers. As you can see, we're toe nailing one nail on each side into the knee wall and then three nails through the rim into the end of the beam. Next, we want to install the timber strand LSL header with pre-attached hangers. So we are going to apply adhesive to the seat of the hangers before setting the header in the hanger. Here we're installing two ply one and three quarter inch microlam beams with pre-attached hangers in the same way. Now that the hangers and beams have been installed, we can go ahead and install the TGI joists. All we have to do here is to put the members in place, line them up, and drop everything in. Be sure to first apply construction adhesive in the seat of the hanger and then set the joist in. It's really important at this point to make sure that the joist sits firmly against the bottom of the hanger. Now you want to finish off by fastening the TJI joist to the mud cell with one 8D nail through each side of the bottom flange. That was a lot of material to cover. But I hope this has helped you understand best practices for installing flush beams in a floor system with TGI joists and headers. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of truss joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you'll find online at trustjoist.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in this Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing, which is available online or from your local representative.